Hey everybody, it's Mark Saunders with Saunders Realty, Saunders Property Management, and the Real Estate Brokers Academy right here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So first off, let me say thank you. I have gotten a ton of comments, great feedback, remarks on a lot of these videos that I do with the green screen and the market updates and all. And I got a lot of questions coming to me through Facebook, social media, emails, phone calls on how do you make this in a program that I use called We Video. So today I thought I would do a overview basically showing you step by step how I make green screen videos just like this one and show you the tools that I use, the programs and all of that and walk you through it to make so you can make green screen videos like this for your business. Now it all starts here with the green screen. So this is our green screen wall. It, it's set up in our office. We put it in place. But if we actually zoom out a little bit further over here, you'll see kind of my setup, the way I have this set up and everything. So first off, let's talk about the wall. When I first started making videos like this, I had a curtain that was we hung up on some tripods and everything. And I'll be honest with you, it was a nightmare. We could never keep the curtain flat. We had a lot of shadows and all of that. So when I moved to my new office location, I decided I was gonna pick one wall, this giant wall here, and actually paint it green. But this is just not normal green paint. I actually have a can of this left over. This is video paint. You got a good shot of that one? So video paint. This is set perfect for a chromia key green. And it's the exact color you need when you go to edit video and everything. So you'll notice this huge wall. This is a lot more space than I needed. And um, so we painted it. This was two or three coats of video paint. You're going to spend a little bit more money to actually get the proper video paint. But I'll tell you, it is so much easier. You do it once and you're done. And you're, you're, you're set. You don't have to set up a curtain. You don't have to do any of that stuff. So I'll actually throw some links below if it's on Facebook or whatever in the comments or YouTube to send you the links to where you can find that. So that's the wall itself. The next thing is the lighting components of everything. Now, I've done a lot of this through trial and error. These are just basic shadow box lights. You can get these off Amazon. And if you notice with the way my setup is here, these lights really are not on me. They're on the wall because when you go to edit it, whenever you have solid color on the wall and there's no shadows, if you notice, if I stand really close, you'll see a shadow. That will not grade out very well. So these lights on the side are just to shine on the wall, take my shadow off of it. Now, the other thing, let me grab the camera and I'll take you around the whole setup here. This Chris, say hey. <laughs> There's my lights. I have the straight on light. This is one of my newer lights that I just got. It's basically a, a selfie light that's on a tripod. It works really good. You can actually control the type of light that you're getting. I can change the color of it and everything, um, adjust the height. This one's set up where I could actually put my cell phone in there and actually film directly from the light itself. And if I swing back around, give you a wider view of kind of my setup here. There's the lights and everything. This comes back to my camera. So this is a Nikon D. 5400 I think it is. This is what I do most of my shooting for. Now I'm going to show you my um, breakdown of the numbers and everything, how we set this up for green screen footage. I've got it recording now because I'm actually recording all of my audio through my wireless mic that's going into my Nikon. You can actually see right there is my microphone picking up. Here's a tip. If you're going to get a good camera like a Nikon to do it, make sure you have a microphone port. If you don't, then you're gonna have issues getting your audio in there and everything. So I have a wireless mic that actually comes around, goes to my hip, and we can actually do all the audio. I learned early on, and you'll see anything online, it talks about your audio is more important than your visual. So you gotta have good audio. People will give you a break on the visual, but if the audio is bad, you can have some issues there. So that is my camera, Nikon, like I said, I think it's a D5400. Uh, and then just some basic tripods for that. So really, I don't have much of a setup. I mean, it's not very expensive. I buy it in pieces. 
and we kind of go round and round on how how that's set up and everything there you go and that back to chris and that's basically my setup you can see my other wireless part of my microphone is on my hip i uh this is actually the room that we're in is part of my where my agents and i'll sit their desks are here i put the conference table on sliders painted the wall behind me so now when we come in to shoot a video we just slide the table back set up our tripod we can have this set up what 10 minutes chris basically <laughs> got the room set up in about 10 minutes to do video, and we'll knock out a lot of different things like that. So uh, different video content and all. So now what we'll do is we'll jump back to the regular footage, and I'll jump over onto my computer, and I'll show you step by step how to take this footage and put it together into a green screen video. Okay, so here we are on the actual my Wii video account. So this is uh, shows you exactly how to make green screen videos using Wii video. Now, I'll tell you, I have used a lot of video editing software. I used Final Cut for the longest time. but It was just so complicated. And most of the stuff that went on uh, in that program and everything, I didn't really need. So that's why I like Wii video so much and because of the B footage and a lot of different things. But let me show you. So here's the video that we just shot in the green screen room. And you've already seen the beginning of it and everything. But uh, let me show you kind of how we do it and everything. So the first thing you do is you're going to upload the video in to uh, your library. So I've done that. This is the very first clip that I want to edit. So and you can see my timeline down here, kind of how I have it laid out and everything. But I'm going to show you step by step how to do all of this. Now, if you're in Wii Video and it looks a little different, I've had some people call me and say, hey, your Wii video looks totally different than mine. Chances are you're in storyboard mode instead of timeline mode. So if it looks different, click the little icon on the left here and go switch to, you're probably in storyboard, switch to like the timeline setup and vice versa. So that's how you set it over to this uh, to get it to look like this. So if you'll see below, this is my editing section. So I've got seven or five layers of video one layer of audio here, which is kind of how we stack it. The very top video uh, line is always going to be my text overlay. So right there, Sonder, Mark Sonder, CEO, whatever, you've, you've seen it, you'll see it in the videos and everything. So we'll lay that over that. The next line is my actual footage. Goes, kind of think of this as layers. We're putting layers on things. So this is my first layer of my green screen footage. And then the next layer down is going to be my logo. You can't see it now because it's being hid behind this layer. And then this is the green screen backdrop and everything that we're going to change to. So the first thing you do uh, would put, put your green screen footage on the second layer and let's start editing it. So the way you edit the video is you can go into it. I always like adjusting the color first to kind of get the numbers of how it works, change the brightness, you don't want to wash it out, but just play with this a little bit. Um, contrast, you can go crazy, but I wouldn't do that. But let's see, that looks good. I want it to be natural looking. And four, that kind of brings out the green. You see that? And if you can do the coloring first, I have found through a trial and error, it brings the green out better when you go to coat it and, and key it and pull it out. So that looks good. So here's a tip, write down your numbers here. So that way it's your other videos that have green screen. You can easily type the numbers in and it'll all look the same. So that's good. I'm going to hit save. I've saved the color. I'm going to go right back into that footage again. And I'm going to go to the color keying tab right here in the edit that one video. I'm going to click the dropper. And this is telling the program what color do we want to remove. We want to remove the green. Now, this is one thing that I really like in Wii Video. You can use this mask feature. And what that does is reverses it out. And what you want is you want this black to all be black. You see how you have some leftover stuff from that? You can kind of see it around my head there and in the corners. So now we can actually just play with it a little bit. And if I drag this dot, you see how that all went just really nice and black. You don't want to go crazy here. You want to kind of just get it to where it makes sense. So that's good. You notice no more white. This is where the lighting really helps. If you have shadows or anything, this is where it can, you can kind of run into some problems and everything. But you see there, and keep in mind, this is not the full 1080 yet because it's still processing and everything. But you can see that that cleaned it up really, really well. You can still make adjustments. If I go too far, it gets kind of grainy and all. But overall, that looks pretty, 
pretty good. Um, yeah, that looks good. Good. So there's the keying on that. And if you notice, I'm kind of in a weird spot. I don't want to block my TV. So I can go to the very first one here and let's just kind of scale it a little bit. I'm going to bump myself down and I'm going to move myself over to the side. And let's see how that looks. The video. So today I thought I would do a overview, basically showing you step by step. Yeah, so that looks good. Uh, I'm kind of out of the way there, pulled off to the side. The coloring looks pretty good. Here's a tip, write this number down right here, 0 0.95. So that way when you have splits or edits or something, you know exactly where to put that in. So that looks pretty good. I might make myself a little bit bigger. There we go. Let's make ourselves a little bit bigger. Yeah. How I make green screen videos. Yeah, that'll work. So let me write that new number down, 1.11. There's my new scale. And you can write down the position to negative 505, negative 79. By writing these down, you'll save a lot of time doing the editing and everything. So I'm going to hit save changes there. So now there is the next layer. So now you can kind of see my layers, how I have them in there. So if I drag along the timeline there, there's my logo right there. So because this is a green screen file that's already in Wii Video, whatever you put behind it is going to show up in that spot. Okay. So the way that I found this is let's scroll to a blank spot. I'm going to go up here to stock media. This is another great feature about Wii Video. As you can tell, I kind of like Wii Video. So I'm going to put green screen background. And once you do that, here are all these screens. This looks familiar because that is it right there. And because I've got, let me slide this video. Remember, it's hidden behind the curtain. Right there it is. Now, you'll notice my screen is bigger right here because I wanted a bigger screen. All you have to do is resize it, just like I showed you with my other video. Double click on it. We're going to scale it, make it a little bit bigger, and we're going to slide it over. Maybe do it like that, slide it up. Now there's a spot for me. There's a bigger screen. And anything that I put behind that, let's say right there, you'll see pops in about where it needs to go. I can double click it. I can slide it into place. Boom. Those are in spot now, whatever I want in the screen itself. So a great way to do that. Or you could flip it over. Oh, that's an audio trial track. You can do it any way you want here. You can actually put it behind it if you want, and it'll actually fit right in there. Just, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do there, just to make it easy. But that's how you do this background, uh, the, the green screen background, background. So you can drop it down at the very bottom, or you could switch these, and these images would come up behind it. I just happened to line them up to where they all kind of fit in the spot already. So that's how you do that. So you'll see there, B footage, you can drop anything you want in there. So I can take that out. Let's say I'm talking about, so in one of my examples here, I'm talking about upset real estate agents. So I just did a search for upset business people, and this was the B footage. So I can just drop it in there however I want to do it. So you can build that out however you want to go. So back to our example that I'm doing now. With Saunders Realty. Saunders. So let's say I want to replace every, every time that I say my logo, I want to change that image. So I'm going to cut it, click on the logo. I'm going to delete that out. I'm going to go back to my media and find the logos that I want. So I mentioned my real estate company. I mentioned my property management company. I'm going to drop that in there and just resize it. See how it's just so big and blown up. Just got to resize it a little bit, scale it down, drag it over the camera. Boom. Now, normally I would take the time to really resize that and all, make it a little bit bigger, but you get the, you get the gist of it. Boom. And hit save. And I want my other logo as well. My academy where I teach technology. Let's scale that down, doing this really quick. Throw that in there. And like I said, if I wanted to, I can draw, draw that layer up. 
I could actually add another layer, drag the green screen up and it would be behind everything. Probably the way to do it, but it's just not how I had it set up to begin with. So now that I've switched those images out, looks like this. Saunders Realty, Saunders Property Management, and the Real Estate Brokers Academy right here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Need this. Now here's a tip I'll tell you. So my timing was off there. Here's the little sidebar down here. I can zoom in on it. So I want to make this one a little bit shorter. I'm going to make this one slide in there a lot shorter, and I'm going to slide this one in there too. That's going to speed it up. Saunders Realty, Saunders Property Management, and the Real Estate Brokers Academy right here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So, so that's about as far as it needs to go there. So there we are. Hey everybody, it's Mark Saunders. Timing's good. Realty, Saunders Property Management, and the Real Estate Brokers Academy right here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Okay, so there's that part. And so, so green screen's in there, the layover. Everything's good there. So let me show you how you do kind of this B footage. And this is just out of the library here at WeVideo. So I'm going to go to Stock Media and let's just see what they have. Comments. Let's see what makes sense. Hmm, that looks good. Drop it in right there. Now it's going to be huge. We just got to resize it, scale it down. Slide it over our camera here. Make it a touch bigger. There. Let's see how that looks. North Carolina. So, first off, let me say thank you. I have gotten a ton of comments, great feedback remarks on a lot of these videos that I do with the green screen and the market updates. So, yeah, so there's good B footage. That works great there. So, there's a spot in this video where I talk about how, you know, I snap my finger and basically say, this is where I'm at. This is how you do that. Get to the spot where I'm going to zoom back out on my timeline. I want to go to the spot where I snap. Now, it all starts here. So you see that I disappeared because what I want to do is I want to cut everything out. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to cut the background. I'm going to cut the audio. I'm going to cut out everything to make it really kind of raw to you so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So there's that. There's my footage I've already cut. So now when I do that, let's see, that might not even be the right footage, but we'll see. Just kind of putting it all together. Overview, basically showing you step by step how I make green screen videos just like this one and show you the tools of green screen. So you'll notice this processing because I'm, I'm dragging it all around and recording this at the same time. But you'll notice, oh, come on. Usually it's not that long. Oh. Now, it all starts here with the green screen. So this is our green screen wall. It, it's set up in our office. We put it in place. But if we actually... So that's how you cut it, merge it in together. I could do a fade or, you know, different transition in there if I wanted to. But I kind of like it just going kind of a straight cut uh, into it and everything. So that's how you do the different layers. That's how you do. And that's all right here in the program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, since I've shown you how to do the different layers, and everything. I'm going to go ahead, finish this up, and then I'll play the final version of it so you can see how it all comes together. That is the steps of how to create a green screen video using We Video. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this. I hope it helps your business. We've done a lot of video in my business. And leave your comments below. Leave your questions below. If you're making green screen videos for your business, I would love to see them. Post the links below. Uh, let me see them so I can see what you're doing because I might take some of your ideas as well and incorporate it into my business. So thanks for taking the time to watch this. Have a great day.